get connected. Bing. Don't be scared to try. What, where, when, why? Hello, I'm Nikki, and I'm sorting through these old pictures of my family. The only trouble is, it's really dusty up here. <laughs> It's really interesting to learn about the history of your family. I've been adding these photos to my family tree. This is my mum. And this is her mum, my granny. This is my granny's mother, so that makes her my great-grandmother. I'd really like a photo of my great-great-grandmother, but there isn't one here. I do have her diary, though and there's lots of clues that might help me to find a photograph of her. Spats and Mr P said they'd give me a hand. Spats, Mr P, are you ready to help me now? Well, we're helping you already. We're looking for your family tree. I think it's that one. Yeah, but it could be that one there. Spats, Mr P, when I asked you to help me with my family tree, this is not exactly what I meant. A family tree is made up by the different people in your family, not by the trees in the garden. So what can we do to help? Well, I found this diary that belongs to my great-great-grandmother and I'd like a photograph of her for my family tree. What was she like? Did she work? That's the biggest clue in the diary, Mr P. She's written lots about her work as a school teacher. I'd like to find out more about her and all the other people who helped in the school too. A teacher? Wow! I bet you she taught the children all about computers. Spats, my great-great-grandmother was a teacher 100 years ago. They didn't have computers. The diary tells us that life was very different then. Bing! I've had a great idea. Why don't we go and visit the school where she used to work? That's a great idea, Mr P. And maybe we'll find a photograph over there. And we could find out all about people who helped in schools in the past. Come on then, let's go back to school. We all need someone to help us. We're wondering who can it be? Who's there to watch us? Who's there to teach you and me? What was it like in the what old days? Like Did the people old day? watch out for them too? How do we know who can help us? Who can help me and, and who, who can help you? Wow. My school didn't look like this. That's a bit unusual. They've got separate entrances for boys and girls. But it's not a school anymore. It's now a museum. Let's go inside and see what it's like. Yeah. Hey, Nikki, you'll have to use the girls' entrance. We don't want to upset anyone. Come on. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Have you seen my friends Spats and Mr P? I seem to have lost them. Yes, they've just been up the boys' staircase. Can I use the boys' staircase? Well, a hundred years ago, the girls used a separate staircase from the boys, but seeing as we're a museum now, you can use either staircase. Oh, I see. Um, my great-great-grandmother used to be a teacher here. I've got her diary, and she's written about what it was like to be a teacher then. I'd really like to find a photograph of her, and I was wondering if they've got one here. We do have some old pictures with the records up the stairs. I'll go and have a look. And if I can find them, I'll bring them up. Oh, that would be great. In the meantime, you'll find the Victorian classroom very interesting. It's just the upstairs and turn to your right. Oh, thanks very much. The classroom's just along here. What's happening? This looks like the kind of dress my great-great-grandmother would have worn. Bing! I'm having a dream. I'm a school teacher. Just like my great-great-grandmother. This classroom looks different to ones I've seen before. It's got steps. And the desks at the back are much higher than those at the front. That's so the teacher can keep an eye on everyone. The desks are fixed to the floor too. Bit of a squeeze for me in here. That must mean the children will be arriving soon. 
I need to get the register and check that they're all present. Then after prayers, I think I'll do some arithmetic with them. I better just work out my lesson. Miss Old, this is Jessie Scott. She's your new pupil teacher. She'll be able to help you with your class. Now, I'll leave you to sort out her duties for today. I've got a lot of school paperwork to deal with. Thank you, Spats. I, I mean, sir. I'm very pleased to meet you, Jessie. It'll be helpful having you here. Um, could you write these sums up on the blackboard for me? And then I'll give you some other tasks. Yes, miss. Pupil teachers or monitors worked in many schools. They helped to teach the younger children. Very young to be working as a pupil teacher. Not really, miss. I'm just small for my age. I'm 13. Carry on with your sums. Good morning, girls. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, boys. Good morning, ma'am. Right, class, we're going to start the day off with a prayer. Bless us, Lord, at the start of a new school day. Keep us strong in mind and body, ready to do your will. Amen. Amen. Oh, look, it's Mr. P. He's the school attendance officer. He looks for children who don't come to their classes. Come on, they're around here somewhere. Class, be seated. Now I'm going to take the register. Hmm. There seems to be quite a few of you missing. I hope we don't have another outbreak of measles. That's so very dangerous for you young children. Or could some of the boys be playing truant? It seems to me that they might be working again. How about I gave up marbles? Aye. These children seem to think they can skip off school and outsmart me. But I always catch up with them. They just don't understand the chance they're getting of being able to go to school and learn to read and write. Got you! Right it straight back to school for the two of you. And I think the headmaster will be waiting for you with his belt. But they've been working hard all morning. Don't answer me back, or you'll be in even more trouble. And your parents will be in trouble too for not making you go to school. Now come on! What was it like in the classroom 100 years ago? With chalks and with slates to their benches and desks they would go. Teacher and monitor helping. School was hard in those long distant days. Right, class, we're going to do some arithmetic now. The sums are on the board. Off you go. children. I'm pleased with your work this morning. And when the school inspector visits, he will see that your schoolwork is getting better. Remember, children, hard work will always bring rewards. Huh? That's time for your dinner break. Make your way home quickly and quietly, and I will see you this afternoon. Phew. I'm ready for a break now, too. It's hard work being a teacher. But I'm learning all about the people that helped in the school in the past. Spats is the headmaster. He's in charge of the school and keeps it all running smoothly. How was class today, Miss Old? Well, Sp I mean, sir, 
You'll see from the register there's quite a few children absent. They're so unhealthy. They catch every illness on the go. Yes, the sickness is a worry. The school board have been working on measures to improve the children's health. Well, that would be a help. Also, I think some of the boys are playing truant again. But I'm sure the attendance officer will catch up with the children who think they don't have to come to school. Come on. Come on. Ah, we knew we could rely on you to round up the skyvers. Right, boys, it's six of the belt for you. Put up your hands. Oh, no. If you play truant or you misbehave, you get punished with the belt. It's really sore. I don't like this. I want to wake up. 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 Oh, 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 phew. Thank goodness I'm awake. Oh, I didn't like the look of that belt at all. And Spats and Mr. P seem so angry with those boys. I better go and find them. Hey, Mr. P, look at this. When Nikki's great great grandmother was a teacher, the children used to do something called drill. Drill? What's that? It seemed to be exercises that you did on the spot. You didn't do football or games or anything like that. And in some schools, it would have been the janitor who took the drill lesson. Wouldn't like that much. PE is much more fun. Well, here you are. I was wondering where you were. Yeah, we've been looking around this room. It's all about school days in the past. What did you find? Well, I had a dream. I was a teacher just like my great-great-grandmother. You were the headmaster, Spats. I made sure the school ran smoothly. Mr. P, you were the attendance officer and you looked for children who didn't come to school. And if children behaved badly, they got the belt. I didn't like that bit. That's when I woke up. The belt? That'd be very sore. I wouldn't like to get the belt. I'm going to look over here. What was it like in the classroom 100 years ago? With chalks and with slates to their benches and desks they would go. Arithmetic, reading and writing would keep the inspectors at bay. With teacher and monitor helping, school was hard in those long distant days. Nikki, here are some old pictures. Maybe you'll see one with your great-great-grandmother in it. Oh, thank you. Here. I think this is the one. It's got her name in pencil in the back. This is great. Now my family tree's complete. Thanks very much. Maybe you could make a family tree and add pictures of your family to it. If your curiosity is affected by something you hear or see, get connected. Don't be scared to try what we're 